What's up, guys? It's Amari from the Tobacco Cartel. Welcome back to another episode of Salvaje Speaks. I want to talk about writing your own success story and why you guys should write your own success story, honestly. And this episode kind of has a backstory to it. Now, one of my biggest life goals, this is a goal that I don't really share with anybody. In fact, I haven't really shared it with anybody. Well, now you guys are going to, you know, hear it. Uh, but yeah, one of my biggest goals in life is to meet Dwayne The Rock Johnson in person. And I want Dwayne Johnson to crown me as the people's motivator. Dwayne Johnson is the people's champion, and I want to be the people's motivator. I think The Rock is fucking awesome, all right? Now, there is one thing that makes me very, very sad. And, of course, the reason why this makes me sad, I guess, is because I just love to see people win. I want to see people win. I want to see people uh, make their success uh, story a reality, right? But one thing that I, it just makes me sad and one thing that I can't stand is when people go on The Rock's Instagram and always, tells him, and always tell him how great he is and how inspiring he is. And these same people that look up to The Rock aren't out there trying to write their own success stories. Honestly, guys, how I look at it is that I look up to The Rock so much uh, that I think The Rock is a living manifestation that our success stories can become a reality. And when I see someone that is a fan of The Rock and they're not following their success story, they're not following their dreams, I sort of feel like offended, you know? I guess it's just a flaw of mine. Like I said, you know, mainly I just feel this way because I just love to see people win. Um, but honestly, this is how I look at it, right? The Rock was very inspired by Muhammad Ali, right? Like he has said it before. Like if it wasn't for Muhammad Ali, like he wouldn't have gotten to where he is right now. Like Muhammad Ali was a huge inspiration for him. And The Rock respected Muhammad Ali so much that he went out and wrote his own success story. The Rock said, you know what? I respect Muhammad Ali a lot. But now I'm going to go out and I'm going to write my own success story. Because if he can do it, so can I. Uh, that's just a point that I want to make, guys. You know, go out and write your own success story. One of my favorite quotes from The Rock goes something like, I knew two things. I was broke as hell and one day I wasn't going to be. And that's exactly how I look at things. I know two things. Right now, I don't have 10 million subscribers, but one day I will have 10 million subscribers and I'm going to be able to add a lot of value into a lot of people's lives. Guys, instead of looking up to people's success stories, go out and make your own. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Salvaje Speaks. If you did, feel free to drop a like. Feel free to subscribe to join the Salvaje Cartel. And guys, if you want to check out more episodes of Salvaje Speaks, please feel free to uh, check out the Salvaje Speaks playlist. I'll see you.